Hey, James and Jake Kramer Fitness. Today, we got another unbiased protein review. We are doing True Nutrition's Isolate. And as always, if you found this video helpful in making you a more inclined buyer, please leave a like. I do weekly protein powder reviews, so if you like that kind of content, please subscribe. Uh, I have everything timestamped down below. So I always talk about shakeability, how's it taste, protein quality. Well, with that shared, let's go ahead and get into this True Nutrition protein review. Best way to describe True Nutrition, and when you shop through, direct through the website, it's like a digital protein powder store. They have a staggering amount of options uh, for flavors, protein types, and even dietary types, which is super crazy. If your goal is to put on lean body mass using dairy-based protein powders, they have 14 different types. Best way to describe it, it's like a protein lover's paradise. Super fantastic with the customization that options you have available. When it comes to flavoring, True Nutrition doesn't disappoint. If I were to start a protein powder business, I would take a page out of their book, especially with their flavoring. Even though I've only tried one of their flavors, it was a taste sensation. It was a party in your mouth. Once you decide what you want to buy from True Nutrition, here's what you are getting for each bag. Third party tested, first party verified. This is marketing jargon. It can be confusing. It confused me. I'll discuss more on that in a little bit in the review. Simply put, it's a big push on quality, but it's not the quality that you were thinking from a high quality protein powder. Regardless of which flavor you select, I guarantee you will be happy with your choice as long as you follow the recommendation a value. There is messaging suggesting that their price tag is worth a purchase because they only use the highest quality ingredients in their products. As always, we'll look into that claim. And some of the protein powder is suggested as hormone-free, antibiotic-free, and some of their protein powders even share sourced from USA Dairy Farms. As always, we'll fact check. If you're hesitant about purchasing True Nutrition, they do offer a return policy. If you're unhappy with your product, you can claim a refund within 30 days if, you have, if you've used less than 60% of their powder. So let's go ahead and discuss the differences in their protein isolate line. I had some questions with True Nutrition about their whey protein isolate. With so many choices, what is the difference between each one? True Nutrition isolate comes from different distributors, not my words, and that's kind of like a conflict there if you ask me, because if they're sourcing from small dairy-based farms, how can their protein be sourced from different farms? The labeling indicates the type of filtration used to remove lactose. The Ultra CFM, has gone through a four filtration process, while the standard cold and micro filter have only gone through two process. Regarding lactose, Ultra CFM is the lowest amount. One thing to note is the emulsifier on the protein isolates. Micro and Ultra CFM use sunflower lecithin. Cold filter uses a soy. However, because it is not listed and shared on the ingredient list, I would guarantee that soy is a GMO based product. It's kind of annoying because there is a lack of transparency with true nutrition. Let's go ahead and discuss the claim of third party tested, first party verified. And I hate, I, I shouldn't use hate, but it's, I dislike hearing that kind of marketing jargon because it can be confusing because it confused me. What I think true nutrition is sharing is that they strive to make sure they get the orders correct. True Nutrition must use a third party system to organize and print out the orders generated through their website because on each bag, I'll show a close up here if you can see it, there is a signature of the individual who filled this or pulled this product. And this isn't a protein powder that is verifying the quality or the ingredients. They are verifying that every order shipped out and purchase, whether it be through Amazon or through the website, third party tested, first priority verified, and it has nothing to do with their protein powder quality. I did ask the representative for a certificate of analysis of anything in regards to that tagline, third party tested, first priority verified. They were more than willing to share certificate of analysis. Is true nutrition protein isolate amino spike? The 34 grams away in their unflavored offers 30 grams of protein. That is shared with the chemical certificate of analysis through their independent third party. You don't need to worry about the amino spiking. However, that was done in 23, so I, this is 24. I kind of expected 
some kind of updated certificate of analysis. It started with my last video, I started doing a protein powder quality check to assess and compare two different brands on the market to the protein powder that we are reviewing today. And I would have to say this is another transparency roadblock. There is an amino acid profile shared for some protein powders on the website. However, the issue once again stems from 100 grams of whey, not per serving. And so of course, that is very confusing. I actually compare True Nutrition's label and marketing very similar to my protein. The big thing that you will notice on this bag and I'll flash up my protein and compare it side to side uh, through True Nutrition. There are no statements in 24 for the amount of BCAAs per serving. So that's kind of like, okay, where, what's going on here? So I did get in contact with the representative and this is where I start finding and seeing the barriers of entry. It is a significant roadblock in trying to find information through True Nutrition because of the fact that most normal protein powders will share the amount of BCAAs per serving. And I can usually figure out and calculate an estimated hypothetical BCAA amino acid profile per serving knowing that we have a BCAAs per serving. However, I got the circular argument when contacting True Nutrition. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for a specific amount of BCAAs per serving for the unflavored protein powder. And they went ahead and shared the 100 gram whey serving amino acid profile. So right there, automatic red flag. What do I think is the leucine content per serving in true nutrition? Research suggests the average amount of leucine in protein powders that normally occur in leucine that are not amino spiked usually floats between nine and 11%. The average is around 10%. However, I don't think it's a 9%. I firmly believe, and this is where the my protein comparison starts, is that True Nutrition uses 8% leucine per serving. But because of lack of transparency with True Nutrition, we're left only speculating. The reason why I don't think that they're using 9% leucine per serving uh, at 10%, True Nutrition would be offering 2.8 grams of leucine. At 9%, it'd be 2.52 grams of leucine. And finally, if there was nothing to hide, True Nutrition would be putting a stamp on how much BCAAs that we're having per serving. And this is the reason why I believe that we're getting a low quality 8% leucine per serving protein powder. I wouldn't be surprised if True Nutrition is using the same supplier way from that uses my protein. So I don't believe this is a truly hormone or antibiotic free or it's sourced from USA Farms. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Amazon reviewers are sharing about True Protein. There are less than 400 verified buyers of True Nutrition on Amazon. However, the majority of individuals are happy with the standard flavor options. If you want to maximize multiple protein synthesis, as always, go with the unflavored. However, I firmly believe that you're going to have to use more doses or scoops just to go ahead and stimulate muscle protein synthesis. And a lot of reviewers share the chocolate fudge brownie is a little too overbearing with the stevia. If you were to go ahead and use True Nutrition as post-workout shake, that's what we're doing today because I just got done working out. How many scoops do you need to stimulate muscle protein synthesis? Research suggests 25 grams with up to three grams of leucine. However, true nutrition with the flavor proteins can be anywhere as low as 27 to 30. If we're using the estimated leucine percent of 8%, we are looking around one and a quarter scoops are necessary to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. If you wanna go ahead and maximize your servings because there's only 14 servings per container, Using high protein skim milk offers 13 grams of protein with 1.3 grams of leucine. However, that might be able to go ahead and push you over the limit using only one scoop might. So let's go ahead and take a look on how to make a true nutrition protein isolate shake. The directions are as simple as follows. When making a true nutrition protein shake, all you need is mix one serving with eight to 12 fluid ounces of water, juice, or milk. The flavor that we are doing is true flavor salted caramel. There we go, you can see it now. So let's go ahead, as always, the cell. Let's go ahead and open up the bag. Post-workout here, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure, and I'm breaking a fast as well, so we're gonna go one and a half scoops. 
So one scoop in, and then right around a little bit over, a little bit less than half a scoop. I do have to make note, True Nutrition has a ton of different flavors. I believe, even though I'm only reviewing True Salted, True Flavor Salted Caramel, man, this is delicious. Right when you open it up, there's a rule of thumb, you eat with your nose. And even though there is no picture on the bag of the flavor that you'll be getting, the website indicates the flavor. I prefer whatever flavor you pick, especially you do the true flavor, it's gonna be amazing. And I am quite happy with the flavor. So go ahead, lock her up, shake it up. Not a fantastic shake. However, I think I give this a nine, maybe eight and a half. Let's go ahead and flip it over here. See if anything got stuck at the top. As you can see, there are some little cake bits on there, but nothing too horrible. Salted caramel review, cheers. So of course, I think personally, I love salted caramel and it's one of my favorite flavors. And I think they almost got, True Nutrition almost gets this salted caramel flavor. Is it caramel or caramel? Stevia migrates itself right into the picture. As I shared, I think I did say 10 eight to 12 fluid ounces and I did use one and a half scoops. That did probably add a little bit more stevia than necessary. However, you do get the nice warm feeling of caramel, the nice brown butter, and then a nice ooey gooey caramel sensation. But at times the stevia does make an appearance though. But if you're someone who's stevia sensitive, I would go ahead and recommend using the 12 fluid ounces. If you do use the one and a quarter scoops, I would go 14 fluid ounces to offset the stevia. But by all means, I would most definitely buy salted caramel again. Why is True Nutrition protein so expensive? Before discussing the pros and cons of True Nutrition, people want to know why is the protein so expensive? One bag, regardless of protein pipe, only offers 14 servings. The bag is a minimalist approach similar to my protein. There are no frills and there is no information about protein quality specifics. As I shared before, there is no information about the BCAAs per serving, which is a key indicator for me for protein quality. However, each bag talks about the quality of the ingredients. They even share that their proteins are only sourced from USA farms that are not only use antibiotic and hormone-free cows. I'm not buying that. Here's why. Those claims can be easily backed up by a USDA organic badge, which verifies that this protein is coming from USA dairy farms. Instead, what you see at the bottom of the bag is the punchline of this whole entire joke of true nutrition. Made in the USA using premium ingredients sourced worldwide. It wouldn't have that statement if this was a USA protein powder. Low quality, no flashy bags. They are using the naked nutrition type of marketing sharing and claiming only from USA farmers, from antibiotic and hormone-free cows with no verification. They are overcharging for a low quality protein that tastes great with the crazy amount of custom options. That is the reason why True Nutrition is so expensive. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap up this review of True Nutrition Protein. Let's go ahead and start off with the cons in this pros and cons section. It's a low quality protein powder, estimated at 8% leucine. There's a ton of marketing jargon, and one that strikes a nerve with me is the third party tested, first party verified. They are not referencing the quality of protein used in the bag or whatever protein style you select. They are referencing their point of sales system, making sure that whatever bag that you select comes delivered to the style that you are looking to get or purchase. There is no third party verification for claims on the bag. True Nutrition does not source from USA Farms. It's all marketing bunk, as we talked about in the previous section. And finally, it's an ex it is expensive for a low quality protein, only offering 14 serving. Okay, so what does True Nutrition protein do get right? This is by far the best tasting caramel protein powder that I ever had. I don't care which powder you, which flavor you select, it's gonna taste awesome as long as you stay with their recommendations for flavoring. Mixes with no hiccups. There are so many different protein pipes for dietary choices and dietary preferences, so that's a big plus. And then of course, you can't deny that this is a high protein per serving regardless of the protein quality. That protein can vary from 27 to 30 grams per serving. Is True Nutrition Protein worth it? Man, that depends. 
Some people just use protein powders because it tastes excellent and stick with that brand for a while. I'm a big fan of BSN flavors. I can drink BSN protein powders all day. Furthermore, I can see why people provide positive glowing reviews for True Nutrition. However, then let's add in the protein powder customizer, which is also a fantastic touch. However, when you look at the big picture, price, number of servings, and the protein quality, I kind of expected more for the protein quality that we are receiving. Let's go ahead and end this review, get my final thoughts, and give, it, give a review roundup. In the end, I feel like True Nutrition is a better alternative to my protein. However, their protein qualities are most likely the same, offering 8% leucine per serving. The differences between those brands is taste and customization. Hands down, True Nutrition taste is a home run. Even if you're sensitive to Stevia, the Stevia is mild enough to, and it can be an enjoyable experience and I would happily purchase another bag. The group that I think would most likely use this protein is individuals who are trying to stick to a dietary regimen or lose weight. For a workout enthusiast, if someone's who's trying to put on muscle, lean body mass, athlete, I would not recommend this protein powder. After doing a cost analysis, You've had your fun. In my book, True Nutrition is a very average protein powder. All right, another protein review done. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with my assessment? Just an average protein. I'm not a big fan of it. Flavor-wise, it's awesome. If you're someone who wants to look at the, just getting the flavor sticks, True Nutrition does offer that. And you can, and the rep did share with me that if you love their flavor so much, if you have a bottle of unflavored whey, one of their flavor sticks can flavor three to five pounds of protein powder. But other than that, what are your thoughts? I wanna know. If you found this video helpful and enjoyable, please leave a like. I do protein powder reviews weekly, so subscribe. And as always, I still do take special requests. As always, at the end of every video, I always say I'm behind, but I think I'm getting near the end of the tunnel and I can see the light somewhat. So leave a comment below if you want a special request protein. And as always, thanks for watching. Make it a great day.